So it looks like Sahara Gaming have a new computer case to come out. This little baby here. That is quite big. Now I'll go through the specs in a second, but I'm going to do an unboxing first just to get it out of the way because it takes up a lot of room. And it meant, let me stand up for a second, it meant that either I rearranged all my cameras so you can get a better view or uh, lower my desk. So I lowered my desk. It's a white, isn't it? White, get it, get it. Right, it comes with an accessory pack and I would advise that you use this as well. So, it is white, so we need to do a PC build. So let me know in the comments what you would like to see on a PC build using white components. I'm thinking about doing a budget one, so if you don't get back to me, I will build a budget one. So we have tempered glass and we have metal. Now Sahara Gaming are quite well known for bringing out good quality cases at affordable prices and this could be the baby for you, baby. I shouldn't, I shouldn't keep saying that, should I? Right, let's quickly go through the specs, shall we? So obviously the brand is Sahara Gaming. The motherboard compatibility is a mini ITX. Case type is a mid-tower. Colour, white. Hopefully that's obvious. Material is tempered glass. Cooling method is either water or air, and the model name is M808W. Why? I don't know why. Light colour, they do RGB. Fan size is 120 millimetres, and product dimensions is 42D by 28.5 by 35 high centimetres. So let's have a quick look on the bottom to start with. So we have some nice little feet actually, a bit of rubber there. We have a filter to keep it nice and cool for your fans. It has four fans in there. It has three in the bottom, blah, 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 and one on the side, 120 mil, obviously. And I'm guessing they're RGB. Looking at that. On top, we have another filter, very nice, magnetic. Oh, we have the controls on top as well. So we have LED, so you can actually change the actual colour pattern, whatever it is, just by pressing that, rather than you using some other device like software or going into the back of the case. You can just press that button there. USB 3.0, USB 3.0, mic connection, headphones, and USB 2.0. That's quite nice, actually. Reset button, power on button. Nice little click as well. Yeah, it sounds really nice. Back panel, there's some air vents in the board. I call this a back panel. I call that the side panel. Let me know what you call this. I call it a back panel. Front glass. See, I, I call that front glass and I call that side glass. But you might call it something else. All right, let's have a quick look at the rear. Right, so they, looking at them, once you break these, you can't reuse them. Yes, something to bear in mind. So make sure when you put your graphics card in, you break the right one off. Because if you break the wrong one off, you've got a hole there and you've got to fill it up the sink. So we have normal screws for your back panel. And that one's too tight for me to undo by hand. And we have hand tight ones for the front or the side panel. I'm getting confused now. I'll do the accessory pack in a minute. I just want to have a quick look first. Don't forget it's tempered glass as well, so it should be quite strong. Let's have a quick look at the accessory pack, see what you get in here. You will get one of these, in case you uh, were wondering. So we have, oh, oh, it's got new fans on it, or different connection fans, a bit like um, some of the other manufacturers. Well, that is very interesting, actually. So we have a four, three pin connection there that goes into your four pin. We have, sorry, where are we? Where are we? We have 
four pin connection now goes on your motherboard somewhere same as that one that will go on your motherboard we have two of them and that will be for you to daisy chain or connect it to more fans hopefully very good what's that one doing is that a little stop on the end there is look, another three pin connection so i know very little about this case actually and uh, i'm looking forward to playing about so we had some cable ties there loads of little screws for your motherboard and your graphics card, looking at that, nice little package there. Plenty of cable to keep you amused for quite a long time. So uh, with that, let's undo the back panel, have a quick look in there, shall we? Right, the rear end, the rear end. So we have a selection of screws, so there'll be risers and stuff like that in there. Motherboard screws, and maybe even, maybe even graphics card screws, which looking at that, there is. Cable connection, so we have the standard front connections, HD lead, power switch, power reset switch, things like that, and they're all individual. That might actually suit some people, but some people might find it more trickier. But, you know, it depends on the individual, I suppose. We have a USB front panel connection, so USB 3.0, HD audio, and USB. So that would be for your, I would say, front panel, but it's actually on the top, isn't it? Yeah, it's up there. <laughs> now then, the accessory pack. Now, this has been sent because there is a manufacturing error with this connection here that goes into the back panel, or the back fan, I should say. So what you need to do, in case you don't know, is you need to disconnect this. It's only if you've got the, the accessory pack. If you haven't got the accessory pack, then they've already fixed it. I can't get it unplugged now. There you go. So you've got to unplug that, and you will disconnect that as well. And then in the accessory pack, is a new one, which I spoke to you about earlier. So I'm just going to undo this. I'm going to show you how to connect it. It's quite easy. So you want this the four pin connection and that will go into that there and that goes that way around so like that and voila that's done I'm going to push it through there for a minute switch her over but hopefully they would have sorted this out by the time you bought yours anyway uh, disconnect the fan or the fan controller this one which is the wrong one for some unknown reason don't ask me why but it is. That should be fine. That one going into there should be fine. Now we want this. Let me bring it back round. Where's she gone? Where's she gone? Where's she? Oh, she is down there. Oh, <laughs> I've, I've unplugged everything. <laughs> we want this. So we want this bit here to go into this and I believe I can actually do it without actually looking we just slide it down there somewhere it will fit in there you go and push it down so that's now connected push all this back through here because that's where the cable management's coming in handy because that's what you're going to want it so they're all connected and then all you need to do is plug one of these into your power and number one into your motherboard. Well, we can do yeah, that easy. See, easy peasy lemon squeezy. Three pin connection now, spare one now. Probably won't be using them, but we might do because some of it will be for the LED and some of it will be for the actual fan itself. See, it's that easy, and then all you've got to do is stick that down somewhere. So turn it back over again. It's very light, by the way, which is handy. Now, I know a lot of people are going to say, well, this case does actually look a lot like a lot of the other cases. And to be honest, it does. But, but what you've got to bear in mind is, this is a lot cheaper than any other case. It's a hell of a lot cheaper. You might pay for a branded one or a brand that you know well, you might pay an extra £100 for the same case. So something to bear in mind. If you're on a tight budget, 
this could be the baby feud. Now, I am thinking about doing a build. I'll either do it in this video, or I will put a computer inside, or yeah, computer components inside just to test it, and then at a later stage, do a white build. Let me know in the comments. But like I said, I might be doing it in this build. I'm not 100% sure yet because I'm looking at parts at the moment, and yeah, I could do two videos rather than just one. So I think I will go down that road because it can take me a little while to get the parts. So basically, that's it. Oh, one more thing. Hard drives, from what I understand, you can get two SSDs on there, and I believe you can get another drive on the other side as well. But you've got to bear in mind, your power supply will be going here, and you may be putting a water cooling system in here. Yeah, makes sense. I think it makes sense. So, I am going to do a build. I'm just not 100% sure. Wow, well, I'm starting to think, yeah, I probably will do a basic build now in this video. And then I will do a white build on a budget in another video for this case. What do you reckon? Yeah? And what I'm going to do is, because it's already got four fans in now. So it's got one there, three there which are very nice by the way, and all white, white. I might put either two or three fans up there, or I might not put any up there and just put a water cooling system in there, all in one, or put it up there. Again, let me know in the comments what you think. But for now, we're just gonna do a basic build. So I'm gonna get the parts and then we're gonna uh, install it all and see what it should look like. But it will be a basic build, all right? I made a bit of a boo boo. I thought for some reason my motherboard was a mini ATX, but it's not, it's an ATX. And I thought that would go in there, but it doesn't, it's just too big. So I've ordered a new one, I've actually ordered a kit. I've ordered motherboard, which is an M ATX, I've ordered RAM, and I've ordered the processor. And it's coming as a bundle, so it should just work straight out of the box. Fingers crossed. Now, it doesn't come with a graphics card, but luckily, we have this little baby here, or this big boy. And I think it will fit. It will definitely go in the case anyway. So that's all right. These things are getting bigger and bigger all the time. Oops. Now, the power supply is going to stay in there, and I know it's black cables, and I know it's not the best cabling in the world because it's got all the colours on the end. But it should do. Don't forget, it's a budget one, so we're trying to keep the prices down, so we're using second-hand power supply. I've had this for quite a few years now. We're using a standard hard drive, and I've had that one for quite a long time now as well, and it's already got an operating system on, so I'm hoping, I'm hoping I should be able to just plug it in, turn it on, and away she goes. 
Also, I do have some heat sinks to sit on there anyway, on top of the new processor, so it shouldn't be a problem. And also, I will stick links to all the parts that I've bought in the video description on the next video, not in this video, because I'm going to call it a day on this video. I just want to show you what it looked like, and I wanted to try and show you me doing the build, but it just didn't work out, did it? So we're doing a two-parter. So what do I think so far? Yeah, I like the case. It's quite squarish in shape, as you may see. Not just in that way, but in the uh, in the width as well. It's quite square. It's easy to work on as well because there's loads of room. I can get to the hard drive from this end, even though it's in the back, if that makes sense. Could put a water cooling system on there, or you could put a water cooling system on there. We probably won't be going down that route, but we might add some more fans because we have four in total at the moment and it looks quite nice and I'm looking forward to doing the build hopefully you are too so with that if you're if you're already subscribing don't forget to give me a thumbs up and if you're not subscribing why not it's not painful it doesn't hurt you and if you want to see the build make sure you do subscribe and make sure you click on the bell to get notified for when my videos go live and you won't miss it so with that Thank you very much for watching. Give my thumbs up so far. So far, so good.